Good afternoon and welcome to the 204th commencement of Tarleton State University. Thank you. You can share. This is a magnificent day for the university as these graduates join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton alumni. To open the ceremony, the colors will be presented by the Texan Battalion Color Guard. The national anthem will be sung by senior performance major, Ms. Ashley Morrison. She will be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble, directed by Dr. Anthony Purcell. Following the national anthem, the invocation will be given by Dr. Kyle McGregor, Tarleton's Vice President for Advancement and External Relations. Gentlemen, I ask that you please remove your caps and I ask all who are able to please stand for the posting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem, and the invocation. Please join me for the invocation. On this commencement day, our hearts are filled with joy as we celebrate with our graduates, their families, and friends. While we have all traveled different paths to reach this milestone, today we are of one mind and one heart in giving thanks for these students and for all they will accomplish until their Tarleton flames are laid to rest. As we reflect on all that is past, and all that is yet to come, 
We are mindful of the many people to whom we owe thanks. Families that encouraged education, teachers and mentors who shared their knowledge and experience, friends who provided support and helped make a lifetime of memories. May these graduates reflect the core values of this university as they use their knowledge to act with integrity, standing up for what is right, to serve others with compassion, to foster a culture of civility, kindness, and inclusion, to respect and shape traditions for our time, to set a standard of excellence and strive always to reach it. May the gratitude we feel today inspire each of us to bring even greater joy into our lives and the lives of others. Amen. You may be seated. Well, this is a glorious day as we honor these graduates. It's the season of celebrations, the season of lights, and they are made brighter because of all you, our graduates, have accomplished. Some of you have spent four years here. Others joined the Tarleton family just a year or two ago as transfer students. And some of you may have liked us so much that you've stayed longer than you should have. <laughs> I hope you have not outlasted Snooky or the Jersey Shore, Honey Boo Boo, or Size Gangnam Style. But no matter how long you've been here, things have changed. It hasn't been too long ago, for example, when Pitbull was just a breed of dog. Duck Commander was just a brand of a duck caller. And Florida Georgia Line was a coordinate on a map. Sometimes it's hard for all of us to keep up with all the change. And like the world around you, Tarleton isn't the same as when you enrolled. Among the many, many improvements on campus, we've had it added such things as more new faculty, a new nursing building, new residence halls, a new welcome center, a new learning commons, a new one-stop shop. And students, trust me, an additional 700 parking spaces. <laughs> We've expanded the Humanities Building and renovated the Fine Arts Center and the Business Building, all of which means you've probably had to dodge orange cones, fences, dust, and a whole lot of detours. Some other things are new on the way to your graduation. We have new engineering, music education, and digital media studies degrees. But we, don't, uh, uh, no, we no longer have Dublin Dr. Pepper on the campus. We do have a new Tarleton mobile app, a vending machine for laptops in the library, and we even have a sushi bar in the dining hall. <clears throat> I don't get it. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, Tarleton has worked hard to provide the resources and opportunities to make all of you successful. And today's graduates have taken advantage of programs and activities to prepare themselves to solve real-world problems. Rachel Peoples from Springtown, Texas, is a communication major who led a two-year effort to map every serious violent crime in the Cross Timbers region. Rachel is the longest serving editor in the history of the Texan News Service. She helped start and served as president of Tarleton's chapter of the Society of Professional Journalists. Courtney Pudge of Stephenville majored in inter interdisciplinary studies in the College of Education. Today, she's receiving her special education certif certification. Courtney is the mother of a four-year-old, as well as parenting her 16-year-old brother. Like many in this class, she has juggled work, family duties, and her studies, and with great, great results. Charles Moore from Farmers Branch, Texas. <clears throat> yeah, he deserves a shout out. He's graduating with a major in kinesiology and a minor in English. He was captain of our football team, Go Texans, and he's recognized as a finalist for the William Campbell Trophy given to the best scholar athlete in the, in the nation. Charles joined the 2014 National Football Foundation Scholar Athlete Class in New York last week 
and received an $18,000 scholarship to pursue his graduate studies. He is a Capital One Academic All-American, and he's performed over 2,000 hours of community service during his five years at Tarleton. Congratulations, Charles. <clears throat> Many stories in here. In fact, there are as many stories as there are graduates. But know this, we are enormously proud of each one of you. Your Tarleton education in and out of the classroom has prepared you to lead and to succeed. You can find Tarleton alumnus, alums in boardrooms, classrooms, in the lab, and this year on The Voice because a Tarleton graduate, Luke Wade from Dublin, made it to the very, very final weeks of the show. I'm eager to see what all of you can accomplish in the years ahead. As you are launched into this next chapter of your life, we are entering a new year, a time when it's customary to make a few resolutions. And so I offer a few pieces of advice that would make some good resolutions for each of you in this coming year. First, do what you love, but, don't wear a hat in an interview. <laughs> it might work for Pharrell, but believe me, it's not going to work for you. <laughs> in the words of Elsa from Frozen, let it go. <laughs> Test the limits and break through. Stand for something. Parents, show your appreciation for this one. Never, ever text and drive. Never. Do you agree? <laughs> How about you students, do you agree? Hmm, maybe not so much, huh? Speaking of texting and emails and things of like that, don't hit reply all to your emails. Be, be selective in that. And if you know the names of the Kardashian, Kardashian's pets, turn off your iPhone, turn off your tablets, turn off your computer, turn off your TV because you're spending way too much time on it. And a corollary to that is to seek face-to-face -face conversations because there is no magic app to replace those. Finally, wear purple. Live out our core values every day of your lives. Be proud to be a Tarleton Texan and say thank you. And you can begin by saying thank you right now to the people that helped you achieve this goal. I'd like to ask all the families and the friends that are here with a graduate, if you would please stand. And graduates, I would like you to give your shout out to your parents, your family, and your friends that are here today. Family and friends, please stand. Graduates, say hello. Thank you. He's still saying hello. <laughs> At this time, I would like to recognize members of the platform group. Would you please stand when introduced, and would you please hold your applause until all are standing? Dr. Karen Murray, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Darla Doty, Interim Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Kyle McGregor, Vice President for Advancement and External Relations. Dr. Jordan Barkley, Dean College of Education. Kelly Styron, Dean, College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Dr. Barbara Nemechek, Dean, College of Business Administration. Dr. James Pierce, Dean, College of Science and Technology. Dr. Don Cawthon, Dean, College of Agricultural and Environmental Studies. Dr. Dr. Barry Lambert, Dean, College of Graduate Studies. Angie Brown, Assistant Vice President, Employee Services. Dr. Susan Stoker, University Registrar. Dr. Matt Holgarth, Faculty Senate Representative. Ben Kunze, Staff Council President. And Donna Strohmeyer, Chair of the Commencement Committee. Please join me in recognize, recognizing these outstanding leaders. As was explained before the processional, some graduates are wearing colorful cords that represent high achievement and academic honors. 
Some graduates are wearing red, white, and blue cords, which represent achievement and honor of a different sort. They are veterans who we recognize today for their service to our nation. It is their sacrifice and that of their families that allows us to freely pursue life, liberty, happiness, and our education. And so I would like to ask any veterans in the class and all veterans in the audience, if you would please stand so we can thank you for your service. Veterans, please stand. Thank you. Will Captain Frank Dolberry please come forward along with ROTC Cadet Reese West, who will be receiving his commission today. Tarleton has a very long and proud association with the ROTC program. Over the years, sons and daughters of Tarleton have brought honor to this university through exemplary service to our nation. The oath of office will be administered to Cadet Reese West by Captain Dolberry, Assistant Professor of Military Science at Tarleton. Raise your right hand. Aye. State your name. Aye. Reese Robert West. Having been appointed an officer in the Army of the United States. Having been appointed an officer in the Army of the United States. As indicated above in the grade of second, second lieutenant. As indicated in the office above of second lieutenant. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign or domestic. Foreign or domestic. That I'll bear true faith. That I'll bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservations. Without any mental reservations. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. That I well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office upon which. Upon the office of which. I'm about to enter. I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations to West. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Dolberry, and congratulations to the newest second lieutenant in the United States Army, Reese West. We thank you for your dedication and service to this country. Since 1917, Tarleton has been a very proud member of the Texas A&M University system. Whoop, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bringing greetings from the Board of Regents and student regent, Colton Buckley. Each year, the governor appoints one student to the Texas A&M Board of Regents to represent students across the A&M system. For the first time, a Tarleton student is serving as the student regent. Colton Buckley is pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree in Ag Services and Development with a minor in Ag Industries and Agencies. Please welcome student regent Colton Buckley. We've switched up here, so wait one second. Here we go. President Dottavio, distinguished guests, friends and families of today's graduates, and most importantly, you, the members of the Tarleton State University Class of 2014. I am honored to be here today and bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. Today is a special day as you prepare to walk onto this stage and into the next chapter of your lives. I may not know what the future holds for you, but I do know that you will be well prepared for what lies ahead thanks to this university. Tarleton State University has a long history of helping students grow, learn, and lead as it encourages them to pursue excellence in all aspects of their lives. I think our founder and namesake, John Tarleton, would be very proud of all this university and you graduates have accomplished. This system and its members have been dedicated to improving the lives of Texans through teaching, research, and service for more than 130 years. 
I know each graduate here today will proudly carry on the legacy of positively impacting lives by taking all that you've learned and experienced here at Tarleton with you as you start down your chosen career path. Today, you join the might of the AM System family of graduates with 11 universities across the state serving more than 130,000 students, which I am pleased, honored, and humbled to represent. The AM System has a breadth and influence matched by few systems of higher education across the state of Texas, the United States of America, and anywhere in the world. Our highest hopes reside with you and our greatest expectations. I wish you, the members of the class of 2014, great success and happiness anywhere you go. Thank you. Thank you, Colton. We're so very proud of you and pleased that you could join us here today for our commencement ceremonies. Graduates, as a member of the graduating class of December of 2014, this is your special day and all things are about you. For that reason, we have invited a member of your class to address the commencement audience. Today's student speaker, Christopher Cohen, is the outstanding graduate of the Department of English and Languages in the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. He has a minor in history and a focus area in sociology. Christopher has published both his poetry and photographs in anthology, the Tarleton Student Literary and Arts Journal. He is also a songwriter. A presidential honors program student, Christopher is also a member of Alpha Chi Honor Society. He has taken full advantage of Tarleton's study abroad programs, traveling to Italy, Spain, and France during his days here as a student. He plans to pursue a doctorate in comparative literature. For a change of pace, Christopher enjoys working cattle on his grandfather's ranch. Please welcome Christopher Cohen to the podium. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment on behalf of this graduating class to thank the professors and faculty members who've invested so much in the lives of myself and all of us, who saw something in us and made every effort to give voice to that something. For all your commitment and insight, we thank you. And to Dr. Dottavio, our esteemed president, who many of us know firsthand as a kind and generous human being. And to the friends and family who've been here over the years, who've seen us through good and bad days alike. Thank you all for your unconditional support. When I first moved to Stephenville in the summer of 2011, it was for a very different reason than you might expect. At that time, I'd already registered for fall orientation at UNT in Denton and was only here to work part-time on my granddad's cattle ranch. Somewhere along the way, I decided I wanted to stay out here, to work in the fresh air, so I decided to look into Tarleton. It seemed like the right thing to do. It made sense. But I didn't know much about Tarleton besides what I'd heard from friends and family. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect. And then I had that moment, that sudden realization of place and purpose a moment that sent me about a thousand miles an hour down 377 towards a new home, new friends, a new family. That moment was Tarleton. The realization of the people, the communities, the academic opportunities, the wealth of insight and experience, all right here in what this DFW city slicker considered to be the most unlikely place imaginable. That moment marked the end of the uneasy summers that many of us have known after high school. Summers before the cold rush of a strange new atmosphere. Summers full of last loves and old friends, comings and goings, greetings and fond farewells. This was the beginning of something new and exciting and unfamiliar. New people, new smells, new curtains, new sheets, Mirrors covered in someone else's toothpaste. Halls teeming with a new kind of life. 
Before long, we're telling stories about that one night at city limits. Homecoming bonfire with warm faces and hands, and 3 a.m. pecan waffles at Peacock's, and coffee, that ever-flowing lifeblood we suddenly can't do without. And all the times we showed up late for our exams and wrote the wrong essays, and spilled food on our white shirts just before the big presentation. We remember these things, these stories we tell about ourselves. And somehow, we become these stories. Somewhere in this process, we cease to be post-pubescent teens experiencing college life for the first time and started to become adults, individuals with individual identities. Suddenly, we're the ones who've studied the Iliad and the Odyssey with Dr. Young who've heard Dr. Guthrie's lectures on early colonization, who remember Dr. Stanley Stevens' year-end talks on environmental responsibility, who've traveled to Spain, Italy, France, and suddenly were graduates. Employees, husbands, wives, mothers, fathers, constantly changing, constantly becoming ourselves. It feels so much different on this side of things, on the other end of a telescope, no longer looking in at the world from afar, but looking back from where we stand today and seeing the small and young summers and winters and falls of our youth. To myself and my fellow graduates, I say well done. Well done for making this transition that can be so difficult to make, for taking on a new mantle, a new identity, and despite the times, and many they were, when I myself wondered if I'd make it to the stage at all, much less to this podium, this school, Tarleton, the people, the students, the professors, and everyone far behind the curtains continued to make this school a place I could believe in. This is a place we all believe in, and a place that's always believed in us. Here's to us, and to all who come after us, who see the world as we see it now, as teachers, as educators, as historians and philosophers, as artists, as poets, as achievers, dreamers, and doers, as members of society in a strange and wonderful new way, as graduates of Tarleton State University. Thank you. Now, I have to tell you, I was sitting there thinking, it is very clear to me, and I hope it's very clear to you, why it is that we use student speakers rather than some name that you might recognize coming from some other city. Give Christopher another round of applause. That was terrific. I think I may have found a new speechwriter. He is awesome. Well, at the heart of a Tarleton education is our distinguished faculty. Their scholarly work creates new knowledge that improves the lives of all of us. As teachers and as educators, they define Tarleton's excellence. The faculty have been partners with these graduates as teachers and mentors, challenging and supporting students as they work toward this important day. Then from our Texan tour leaders who gave you a first look at our campus to the developers of our Tarleton mobile app, the grounds crew that keeps our campus beautiful, to the team that organized today's ceremonies, there are hundreds of staff members who have made Tarleton a home away from home and have helped you to reach this day. And like your family and like your friends, our faculty and our staff members take great pride in your graduation. They have devoted their professional careers to helping you to succeed. And so I'd like to ask the representatives of the faculty and staff, if you would please stand so that our graduates, the families, and the friends that are here could thank you for the important work that you do. Please stand and please thank them. Thank you so very much. Well, students, now we are to the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of your degrees. 
Hey, you can cheer for that. That's important. Yeah. <laughs> to do so, I'd like to welcome to the podium Dr. Murray, Dean Barkley, and Dean Styron to present and recommend the candidates for the bachelor's degrees. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Education please rise? Provost Murray, the students standing before you will be the educators, coaches, athletic trainers, and psychologists who will shape our future. These graduates will no doubt impact the lives of thousands of young people developing the next generation of leaders. They will advance access to education and mastery of life skills. Their important work will help build stronger communities and better lives for us all. As Dean of the College and on behalf of the faculty, I am extremely proud to recommend for graduation these students who have satisfied the degree requirements of the College of Education. Please be seated. Will the candidates for graduation with the bachelor's degrees from the College of Liberal and Fine Arts please rise? Provost Murray. The liberal and fine arts have been the core of education since the age of Athens and Rome. Poets and performers who interpret the human condition through words, art, and music. Social scientists and historians who help us define the problems of our society and search for solutions. Professionals who serve the community and assist in keeping it safe. Watchdogs and storytellers who support our democracy through informing the citizenry. And community leaders and teachers who think critically and solve problems in an increasingly diverse and complex society. The College of Liberal and Fine Arts is dedicated to freeing the mind and enriching the spirit. These students are prepared to protect freedom and property, to defend rights and encourage excellence, and they are prepared to become leaders in their communities, their nation, and the world. On behalf of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts faculty, I certify that they have met all of the requirements for this degree. As Dean of the College of Liberal and Fine Arts, I present these students to you with pleasure and pride. Candidates, please be seated. Would all candidates for the baccalaureate degree please stand? President DeTavio, these students are candidates for the baccalaureate degree as prescribed by the faculty of Tarleton State University and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. As Chief Academic Officer, I present them to you with both personal pleasure and Tarleton pride. Graduates, by the authority vested in me as President of Tarleton State University, I confer the bachelor's degree upon those of you who have successfully met all requirements associated with those degrees. You now hold all honors, rights, and privileges belonging thereto. I charge you as educated men and women of the world to use your education in the service of others. It's official, congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. Student Marshals, will you please bring the graduates forward to receive their diplomas. <laughs> 